Then I just came back from a little four and a half mile run. I did it in about 40 minutes, which was quite good. Happy with my times. I was running a bit slow because I was listening to um, this audio book at the moment called uh, Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday. I'm sure you guys are familiar with him. He had written another book called Obstacles Away and Ego is the Enemy. And he's got the Stoic um, book as well. That's really cool that I highly recommend. But I'm reading this book now at the moment. And it's a flipping trip, man. It's really, 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 really good book. Um, it tells you, uh, it's, again, stillness is the key. It's hard idea behind, you know, um, cultivating moments of stillness for your mind, body, and mind, body, and heart, or mind, body, and soul. Um, it's a very therapeutic book. It's not, it's not self-helpy. If anything, he kind of grabs wisdom from um, people that have gone past, you know, like f legends or philosophers or generals or ex-presidents or inventors, whatever it may be, right? People from the past and he kind of like gleans their wisdom and kind of, you know, puts them in a nice structure and presents them in a new way. So it's less of a self-help and more sort of look what all these people that are successful or that you deem to be successful who or you deem to have come through tough times. Look at what they did um, to make sure to kind of condition themselves so they are able to go through those tough times or condition themselves to put themselves in a kind of mental and physical frame of mind where they uh, can have moments of stillness in this whole chaotic world that we live in. Um, a really interesting one is him talking about Marcus Aurelius, right? The, um, one of the you know prominent Stoics that I kind of follow. A lot of people follow in the whole self movement, uh, self improvement movement, and he kind of you know detailed the story that actually the Greek philosophers are back in those days. People think that they had. Well, I used to have that kind of thinking where the reason why they wrote all these you know amazing fables or stories or they were able to put together these amazing journals or you know able to think or chew on these really interesting problems was because they had nothing else to distract them right there was no smartphones in that era no electricity no you know whatever it happens right you just think you know they have all the time in the world to just do what they want to do it's that kind of it's that kind of type a fantasy you have in your head where you kind of hope that one day if you get arrested it's going to turn into opportunity for you to kind of learn seven languages read a ton of books and you know get incredibly fit um, but the reality it was actually in those days that they were dealing with as much destruction as we were this as we were nowadays, right? They were living in smaller kind of like scale towns and cities where the main market square was very close or nearby where you lived. Um, it was very loud. You had you know um, market traders shouting and screaming their deals. You had the sound of kids playing. You had the sound of women in the area gossiping. Um, army people in the army barracks training. Um, just the hustle and bustle of a city was comparably, especially imagine those days, they had no windows, right? Just complete open holes in the side of their kind of like uh, building. So there was no windows to kind of insulate that noise. Maybe you put a curtain there, but for the most part, they had to kind of, you know, live in and amongst all that hustle and bustle of a city. So they still had to cultivate moments of stillness where they were able to kind of concentrate and just focus on what they were doing. So this book really does go into depth of it and really is an eye opening book in terms of you know unplugging from this chaotic world that we're in today and like, like i said cultivating moments of stillness so i recommend you check it out it's called stillness is the key by ryan holiday it's available now on audible i've got it here on, on the iphone ibox thing is it some focus come on game focus game focus for the old screen grab come on come on come on no 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 anything anything no it's not having it man it's not having it but anyway that's the that's it there. Check it out if you need. It's really an incredible book.